Hey, 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 it's Ellie Eslin from Self Empowered Lifestyles. How are we doing? PGIF. Woohoo! Thank God it's Friday. We made it. Another week down and dusted. Done and dusted. Okay, let's get into it. What do I need to know today? Please show me their way. Gaining some clarity, insight, and direction. Using the Bling Angel Intuitive cards, uh, the decks there. I've got hundreds of decks of cards. I don't know if you can see them all there. I've got hundreds and hundreds of Oracle cards. And I've got a surprise deck coming up very, very soon. But uh, yeah, keeping the lid on that at the moment. Alrighty, let's get into it. Let's start with the growth deck. Always good to like put a sh put, push us out of our comfort zone. What do I need to know today? Please show me the way. All right, let's just shuffle it up. Oh, here we go. First card that fell straight out is what is my intuition telling me that I might be ignoring? Oh, listen to that niggle inside. Follow the energy inside. What's your, what's the little niggle? What's that, you know, trusting that internal knowing, your internal GPS? What is my intuition telling me that I might be ignoring? Where, where is your head saying, no, 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 I can't do that, the, that protective head that doesn't want to uh, get you into any danger? And it's not dangerous, it's just taking you out of your comfort zone because that's where change happens when you do things differently. So where are you not listening to your intuition, that little niggle inside, that little voice that says, yeah, come on, come on, do it, do it. You go, no, I can't do that. And it's like, yes, you can. Trust your intuition. My, my word for this month is instinct. Trust my instinct, you know, because that is my best guide. Absolutely never leads me astray when I followed that energy within me. Alrighty, once again, that's about believing, right? Believing in yourself, trusting, believing, and allowing. That's our mantra. Trust, believe, and allow. Okay, let's see what uh, comes up here. Am I seeing the world as my oyster? Oh, are you a Debbie Downer or a Pollyanna, right? Because everything is perception. You can have a glass with water in it up to the middle that can either be seen as a glass half full or a glass half empty so which way do you see the world as like lots of opportunities and possibilities or Debbie Debbie Downer and oh woe is me everything's bad I'm like there are you know things going on that are challenging 100% not saying that there aren't but at the end of the day in the bigger picture if we step into some gratitude it helps to shift and lift our energy to be in a more positive mindset so am I seeing the world as my oyster because everything is a choice, a choice to see things in a perceived positive or negative way. The choice is up to you. It's not up to nobody else. It's up to you. Put in the driver's seat of your energy and your life and your choices because every day is a Tuesday and every day is a growth day. Forget that. Alrighty, let's look into new beginnings. New beginnings. Some of these are like taking us out of our comfort zone. This one flipped up really quick as well. So it says, if I could change my mind about one thing, what would it be? Oh, what's the first thing that comes into your head? What's the first thing? Is it about your haircut? Well, if you could change my mind about one thing, what would it be? Well, some choice that you've made, what choice would you like to do differently? The first thing that comes into your head is going to be the right answer. So just one thing, and you can do it. You can change it. It's nothing's finite. Absolutely. It can always be tweaked. So what's the one thing, that first thing that's come into your mind? If I could change my mind about one thing, what would it be? Okay, some little choice that you've made that you think, mm, I should have done the other thing because you can always do it unless it's your haircut. <laughs> you just have to wait, right? Alrighty, let's get some inspiration into us. Let's just shuffle up and let's just see what's coming through on this Friday, the 4th of October. Let's see. Ta -da. Card says, what you pay attention grows. So this is what all of my clothing is based on. Where your attention goes, your energy flows because everything is in attention because everything is energy. So wherever you put your attention is where you put your energy and so that's going to amplify that intention and that's where we need to be very mindful that our intentions are positive, not negative. You may have heard me talking last week about empowering statements or disempowering statements. I am statements can either be empowering or disempowering. If you define yourself as I am tired, I am exhausted, I am over it, that's making a definitive statement, I am in a negative way. But if you turn it around, I choose to be enlightened, I choose to be connected, I choose to be heard, I choose to trust. All the empowering statements that I have on all of my tops, that's going to amplify those intentions. So remember, if you're having sort of those off days, just you're feeling tired, you're feeling exhausted, you're feeling off because that just allows the energy to flow through you. It doesn't define you. It just comes and goes because we're emotional beings. So just be mindful of the words and the language and the thoughts that you have because everything is energy. And where your attention goes, your energy flows. So as this card says, what you pay attention to grows. So make sure it's in a positive mindset, not a negative mindset. 
So when you get your mindset right, everything is right. That's another new saying that just sort of landed down with me this week. Get your mindset right and everything is right. I know they're cheesy and corny, but you know, there's something to it. <laughs> okay, let's just get into the bling boost. Let's shuffle up and let's see what messages we get out of here today. Ooh, that one came out really quickly too. You can open your heart to more what? Fill in the blank. The first thing that lands into your head because that's tapping straight into your subconscious. You can open your heart to more what? To more love came straight through here. You can open up your heart to more love from yourself and receiving from others. Oh, I think that should this then be finished off with a full stop by the gold light deck. Let me just grab that. Okie dokie. Gold light. Here we go. Empowering I am statements. Let's see which statement comes up here. Oh, that was a quick one. Oops. And it says, I am strong. I am strong. Absolutely. You are strong. You're confident. You're empowered. Uh, I choose to be empowered is what I'm wearing today, but you are strong. There's nothing more attractive than a confident person and a confident person who has that strength they're really empowering their solar plexus um chakra which is the color yellow which is what i'm wearing today so it says i choose to be empowered which is tapping into your solar plexus that that inner strength that's that inner courage that confidence okay these are great cards let's just do a recap what is my intuition intuition telling me that i might be ignoring don't it, ignore that that little niggle inside because follow the energy it always takes you on the, the right path it is your best internal gps best guidance trust that instinct that internal knowing am i seeing the world as my oyster are you a glass half empty or a glass half full are you a debbie downer or a pollyanna like you know everything is a choice every day is a tuesday and every day is a growth day are you choosing to see things in a positive way or a negative way because you can go either way, absolutely, about anything. But also when you step into the gratitude and the positivity, it's helping you see all the positives in the world that's going on. Yeah, for sure, there's a lot of shit that's hitting the fan. Absolutely not saying that there isn't. But at the same time, there's a lot of goodness as well. Remember, stick to the light and you'll be right because in the dark is when we get drawn down. So there is a lot of light. There's more light than there's dark, but sometimes we get caught up in the dark and the heaviness. Alrighty, if I could change my mind about one thing, what would it be? The first thing that comes to your mind that you've made a, a decision or a choice on and you think, mm, shouldn't have done that. And, you know, never doubt yourself. You usually go with the first one and it's when you start to doubt yourself that you go, oh, the indecision comes in. All right, inspiration card, what your attention to grows, but basically where your attention goes, your energy flows, which is the tagline to empower clothing because it's all about empowering your your energy in a more meaningful and powerful way. So step into your energy, become the master creator of your life because you have that strength and oh you are strong. Remember you have that strength and encouraging confidence to do it. And you you are in the driver's seat of your life and your journey. So at the end of the day, you can open your heart to more what? To more love, allowing more love into your heart. Rolling those shoulders back opens up the heart chakra, allowing love in for yourself and allowing love in from others. And remember, you have the strength to do whatever it is you are choosing to create into your life. Okay, with that, I'm complete and I'll catch you over the weekend. See you later. Happy, happy day, happy afternoon or happy evening wherever you are in the world. Bye.